Hi, we're going to pick up where we left off for our beautiful lanterns, and we're going to start with a white oil pastel. A white oil pastel will show the gleaming, highlighted parts of our lanterns. So I'm doing lines across each of my lanterns. Even if you don't have the black wire lines, you can still do these white lines to add the folded paper look of a lantern, a paper lantern. Since I have a white oil pastel, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glimmery sparkles. Maybe there's lights in the background that are sparkling white. Maybe there's stars in the sky. But with an oil pastel, we can make them. You don't see them right now because they're white. But it's gonna add some more glitteriness to my background. And I think that's gonna be beautiful. Now it's time to paint, and for that, we're gonna be painting to the edges. Time to get a messy mat. A messy mat helps us paint off the edge of a paper without getting a ton all over the table. Now, for our night sky, it's a cold winter night for this lantern festival, just like it is right now. So we're gonna use cold colors. The cold colors we're using are blue and violet or purple. Just like yesterday, you get a little bit of water on your brush and then swirl, 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 so that lots of pigment gets on your brush. For our warm lantern art, you're going to paint our cool colors all around the outside of those glowing parts. So any piece of your painting that is not a glowing yellow lantern gets the cold paint treatment. And I'm doing lots of little dabbles, and this is sped up now so you can watch me dabble. Try not to use too much water, but use lots of pigment, lots of the color. By rubbing your bristles into that cake, lots of color can be applied. Dabbles make it look like a, just a real fun, glittery night sky. You can use all plain blue or all plain purple, but I like to layer. So here I am coming back into my blue section and adding some purple dabbles. A paintbrush, when it makes a little dab on the paper, this is called a stroke. And we can make something feel like a party atmosphere if we have lots of extra brush strokes. So I'm adding purple and layering blue back on top. This is really fun, even though it takes a while, taking your time and making sure everything on the outside of lanterns is the cool colors means that our picture is gonna really feel warm and cool. And once you've filled all of your background, you are finished with your Chinese lantern art.